what is up welcome back mfers another day another dollar you guys know the drill Do a little bit of pre-spawn bass fishing at a local omaha lake now i've been doing this a lot and the reason for that is this is probably going to be like the best couple weeks of the entire season out here fishing because all those fish that were like super dormant not moving around all lethargic i know you guys like when i say lethargic they're now excited they're, they they want to eat they're all moving up shallow they're active and they are absolutely chomping so these next few weeks are going to be absolutely epic if you guys like these pre-spawn bass fishing videos do me a favor real quick go hit the little bell the little ding bell so you get alarmed every single time i release one of these pre-spawn fishing videos because that's what it's going to be i'm gonna put a ton of these videos out the next couple weeks hopefully catch a bunch of fish and you guys if you like videos like this one will probably enjoy those as well it's kind of funny i just pulled up miss you can't see him right there but mr flair mr andrew flair is doing a boat tour in the parking lot totally unplanned we fished together yesterday had no idea we we're gonna both be here now we're both gonna be here so we will probably see him out on the water have to give him a hard time he's in his little duck boat so we might have to whiz by him and, and and sink his boat with my wake or something that'd be kind of fun make for a good video but regardless let's get the uh, prestige worldwide boat launched start sticking some slaunches Okay, let's get this pre-spawn slot sticking party under the freaking way. I like it. Everything's looking good. Water's pretty warm. Got a nice warming trend. I am going to start with the old swimming jig because jigs are my favorite. There we go. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. God dang, this fish fight. I thought he was way bigger than he was. He's still not a bad one though. Three plus pounder on the six cents. Divide. Swim jig with the black and blue craw trailer. Water's a little chalky, low light conditions. So hey, what do you know? We got a uh, sexy little bass. First stretch of bank. I will freaking take it, man. He crushed that swim jig. I'm gonna need to retie. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna retie. That is uh, nice and frayed up. All right, Flair just went through this area right here, probably with a chatter bait or a square bill crankbait. So let's go ahead with our swim jig and pick up a fish or two that he left behind. Yeah, let's do that. Nah. Missed him. Just sucked on the end of the swimming jog. Let's see if he comes back. Well guys, this is uh, this is what 0% chance of rain looks like apparently, so all right. You know what though? The rain might make them bite. Let's throw some moving baits around, some buzzing bait, some swimming jig, some chattering bait. Catch a donk, even though you can't see it because the lens is covered in rain. All right guys, well, a little bit of a change of scenery. The rain wouldn't let up for about an hour and a half and I had a couple things I needed to grab out of the truck so I went up there and I was like screw it I might as well go try something else so I made a little switch to a different lake totally different type of lake as you can see and once again some pre-spawn fishing let's see if we can catch them here I've fished this lake I think like once or twice ever uh, and so it's gonna be a learning a learning day a learning scenario so hopefully we can figure something out here catch some fish this does have a lot more grass in this lake obviously a lot more trees as well so let's see if we can get a uh, little froggy bite a frog bite would be sick i don't think i've caught a topwater fish yet in nebraska this year let's do it there we go oh man that is a freaking tank first fish at lake number two and he freaking swallowed it a ways down on the Senko. good job buddy all right he's a little bloody let's get him back in the water he'll probably be okay though i got it out but uh yeah just got back i'm way back in this creek now i've been throwing a frog around buzz bait swim jig stuff like that and i noticed the water is like super clean back here which is something we haven't really seen a whole lot of lately so picked up the old weightless Senko, just trying to get a bite maybe clue me into where some of these fish are Picked up a little guy. Missed a bite a second ago. Just picked up that little guy. So maybe we'll stick with the Senko for a second. Not my favorite way to fish. It's definitely a very slow way to fish. But it catches fish. So that's what we're trying to do today. There we go. Yes. Froggy fish. Not a big one like we're after. But there it is, folks. My first topwater bass. 2018. In Nebraska, that is. 
I just went back under another bridge. I've been under so many damn bridges. I am freaking, I'm back here now. Definitely back here. Sick. It's trying to be a little bit quiet. It did rain a lot last night, so I'm thinking maybe it looks like a little bit more off colored water the further back I get. It's like, screw it, let's keep going. And that's called a backlash. Hopefully there's a big one back here. There we go. Get out of the tree. There he comes. Flipped my little Cinchino into the beaver dam up there. Paid zero attention, and hey, I caught another fish on the Cinco. Not the uh, not the size we're after, but hey, again, we're catching fish. And those beat the hell out of old Mr. Goose Egg. There we go. All right, there's another one in the tree on the Cinchino. Well, the little guys are here anyway. I suppose this is funnish. We just like doubled the number of fish we caught today and two casts. But they're flare fish. That's, you know what, that's what it is. Flare's got his stinky mode. He First he rubbed his nutsack on my chatterbait yesterday. And now today he's still got his stupid small fish mojo in the boat from yesterday. Real cool of him. And another one on the Cinco. My, uh, my camera was off because I just threw in there and reset it and hey three casts in a row we got fish not we're actually you know what that's a little a little fatter guy we're improving in size guys maybe cinco is gonna be the way to go a little more fin finicky finesse finick a little bit more finicky today don't know what the deal is with them but fish yeah get out of there you little pecker head god we uh it's like we flipped a light switch on Hey, we're getting bit now. I think that that might be the end of my Cinco. Maybe not. Maybe we're going to make it work. I've been like biting a little bit off, re-rigging this middle part that's all screwed up. This just turned into a how many fish can this one Cinco catch challenge. Look at this. We're going to piece them together. Look at that. Just like so. And he's ready for another. Well, I suppose since I'm catching fish on it, and it's always fun to catch fish no matter the size, I'll show you guys how I'm rigging and fishing the Cinco. So basically just taking a four out extra wide gap hook. I like a lighter wire hook uh, for Cinco and weightless worm fishing because you want to get as much action out of it as possible. So basically just Texas rigging it. As you can see, we're fishing a lot of heavy trees, heavy grass. So we're Texas rigging it, and then we're going to Texpose pose it. We're going to put that point right back into it so it's a nice straight worm still and basically all you got to do is you flip the damn thing next to a tree you let it sink and you watch your line i'll pop it up a couple times once it gets to the bottom and on that first time back down after it's fallen once if nothing eats it i reel it back in and repeat the process it's not rocket science but it's extremely effective great pre-spawn spawn post-spawn post bait that's one of the the main times you'll see me throw in this weightless Texas rigged Cinchino for staging fish. There we go. There we go. Picked up a square bill. Threw up into the concrete structure. Hey, got a fish. Maybe there are fish up here. I'm as far back as you can possibly get, as you can see. Although I am thinking about going back there, putting my boat on plane, and ramping up there. I think we might do that if they're really loaded right here. I'm thinking there might be a lot of them up above, but I don't know. Threw my frog through there, nothing. First cast the square bell, pop, pop. There we go, another one. Spillway fish, another freaking tank. This is a giant, no it's not. This one's super unhealthy, what the heck. Pretty cool though, they are loaded right here. I was kinda thinking I was maybe stupid for coming up this far, but we're back on the Giants. Not so much. Another one. Bait I am throwing right now, six cents crushed 50 in a bluegill pattern. I mean, you can't really go wrong with that guy. He catches a ton of fish. Let's catch another one. Any second. There's one. I s I saw that one. Oh my god, this one might actually be a better one. It might have actually hooked something that's not tiny, guys. Probably not, but maybe. Oh, yep, that's a real good one. For this lake, anyway. Took long enough. This guy literally ate it off the top of the water. So confused. But finally a quality fish. Good god. Some meanest fish in North America. Get in here. Yes. 
That's what we're after. Look how fat that guy is. That's called a brace face right there. Got it. He freaking, like, I cast it in there right on where that water, it's just a little bit of water coming in since it did rain yesterday. I'll hold this guy like a person now. Look at that. Totally sick and catching him right here in front of this spillway. God, that's like probably close to a four pound fish and he is not long. Look how fat he is. Big old pre-spawner. Get him back in the water. Okay. Boom. So I just got all the way back to the spillway and I'm freaking catching the hell out of fish. I can't believe they're actually stacked up. I had to come through, go under like four bridges on the way back here. There's two of them right there and go through trees, go through everything else to get back here. And I've been rewarded with a whole bunch of fish. I didn't catch a fish the entire way, like on the way back here for the last like quarter mile. And so I kept thinking to myself, this is probably going to be a waste of time, but I get up here and now I'm catching them. It's pretty freaking crazy. And the weirdest thing is I just threw my Senko up there and they won't eat the Senko. It makes like no sense to me. They'll only eat reaction baits. So, you know, if you're in this situation, go find a spillway if it's just rained. Those fish love to push up there in the spring. That's why I came back here to try this. I saw it on Google Earth, and now I'm catching them. So pre-spawn, go find yourself a spillway, throw some reaction baits, and you might catch a giant. I think there's gonna be a giant up here. There has to be. Oh, there was one. And I missed him on the garage. Amateur hour, I got Lionel. Okay, I got him, I got him. <laughs> oh god did we get another better one we did get another oh <laughs> i mean that wasn't a giant it was like a three pounder but i threw my frog up there's like a little tube right there behind that concrete pillar where there's water coming in i threw my frog into that let, the, let it kind of drift out and that fish crushed it man these fish are freaking loaded right here this is like so sick these fish are clearly like congregated here because their heads are like in the current facing where the water's coming in and they're just ambushing anything that comes by their faces there's another frog fish <laughs> that one's not as bad either man if i was fishing a tournament right now i'd be pretty jacked because i have found a congregation of fish this isn't a terrible fish for this lake there's not a lot of big ones so there's like decent quality and numbers right here all right just got the boat taken out of the water definitely you know it wasn't the most productive day we didn't catch all the slaunches that i was hoping to catch but it was super sick to find that that little spillway area that held all those fish you know i don't know if the storms have them messed up a little bit maybe made those big fish not really want to eat as well as they they should have today that i feel like these next two weeks are going to be like lights out maybe the best two weeks to fish of the year because it's warmed up so much and those fish are finally ready to eat didn't get the big ones but again super cool to find that little productive pattern and that's something you guys can can go do as well this is the spring pre-spawn period around here go find some runoff areas without water's coming in, especially right after a storm fish some aggressive reaction baits and uh go catch some i'll link everything down below i used in today's video as always and i really appreciate you guys watching this video i'll catch you very very soon i'm out of here peace i'm not sorry i can't help this love like mine <laughs> <laughs> i'm not sorry I can't stop with a love like mine I can't stop with a love like mine I can't stop with a love like mine